Yeah, so we're giving an update to the story that, you know, you remember um, Malik Beasley from the Minnesota Timberwolves that just signed that five-year, $60 million deal. Um, he was caught uh, with – uh, Larsa Pippen, you know, the one that was even around the serial impregnator future, you know, any, any woman that's around the serial impregnator future, you better be worrying about your overall health. So Malik, I guess, wasn't thinking about that at all. And he's walking around and he was caught, you know, and we talked about that. So his wife, Montana Yao, um, if you have seen her on Instagram from the last uh, post, um, people, you know, that's close to them was speaking out about what happened. So a very close source uh, revealed that last week that Montana Yao would be filing for divorce. And they were saying that Montana retained a lawyer and decided to file after learning about Malik's um, indiscretions. So the source also said Montana is completely devastated and feels like he was living a double life because there were no signs of him cheating at all. So they were only married for nine months and they have been quiet until today. And Montana shared a lengthy me message on Instagram. So she shared a lengthy message on Instagram say, Hey y'all, I wanted to say thank you so much for your tremendous love and support during this time. Things have been pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. We were told to leave our family home 10 days ago. And just like you all, I'm pretty confused. There's been no private or public addressing of the situation nor any type of apology and say, I'm not the type of disclose too much information and say, but I definitely will if, or when I feel it is appropriate. The fact that Malik put her and the baby out Malik, bruh. <sighs> See, this is what happens when you don't have no solid black men around you. That's going to tell you about your moves. You understand what I'm saying? Because yes, they were married nine months. That will be considered an annulment because you got to be married at least a year for it to be called a divorce, but it, it's a divorce, but they most are calling it an annulment, right? Anybody would tell you, don't put her out, bruh. Don't do that. Like you have a child. You can't just put her out like that. I mean, let the judge say who goes where, because when you guys start putting women out with children, if you know the court system, you know it's slanted to women, especially women with children. So you need to act accordingly. So I guarantee you now I know that judge going to slam him with that child support. Oh, he, he about to get one because he put her out. That's all it. That's all her lawyer needed was for him to do that. And they about to say she needs spouse support and he put her out with a child with nothing and oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah, Malik, you gonna, you gonna pay, bro. But see, that that's what happens with youth. And and, and the Malik, like, bro, like, just should just went home, man. Went home. Then then they say you were fooling with strippers too. Like, why? Like, see, dudes like you, you know, and and yeah, I remember Kobe was another one, you know, back in the day when Kobe had did what he did in Denver. And then he came out and, you know, he was doing all his apologies. And like, I don't understand you, you brothers like that. You got it all. You got, you know, NBA career, you know, making money, you know, you got it. You got, you know, wife, you got all that. Right. And y'all still want to take a chance of messing it up for some whore. Like why? It, it, it like, for me, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't like I said, but see, I've never been the type of guy that that's not satisfied with what I have at home, you know, but some, some of y'all feel like uh, you can't settle down because you think you getting something new every time you go out there. Like trust me, bro. I mean, when you get older in life, you're going to realize that it's better to have that one woman that's like good with you. And it's going to love you, love your kids and hold you down. And these old fake good for nothing women that's out here you dealing with. And, and especially today, you already know y'all can't find uh, real anything these days, either inside, outside, anything else. But we look at, you know, as we follow the Dr. Dre divorce, we're going to follow and see what happens with this situation. But leave me a comment. Let them know. Think about the situation with Malik Beasley putting out Montana. Y'all just, just put on the street, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm not saying she's been put on the street with nothing, but you can't be putting the woman out, bro. If anything, you should have left. <laughs>